Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. If you enjoy watching the video, at the end of today's daily news report, may I please request you to subscribe and to click on the bell icon. Also do remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It encourages us to continue to bring you free informative news on a daily basis. I am Jake Wong. It is Thursday, November 9, 2023. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Wednesday on the back of a series of bearish economic data emerging from the European Union, signaling the onset of a recession and sluggish consumer demand in the region. Brent crude prices fell by $2.07 settling at $79.54 per barrel, while WTI futures decreased by $2.04 settling at $75.33 per barrel. On Wednesday, Open spec naphtha prices declined by $8 per metric ton at the $630 per metric ton CFR FAR, East Asia levels. On Wednesday, SM prices quoted lower on the back of weaker upstream benzene prices and bearish buying sentiments in Asia. On Wednesday, FOB Korea SM prices were assessed at the $1,040 to $1,050 per metric ton levels, a drop of $5 per metric ton from Tuesday's assessed levels. CFR China SM prices on Wednesday were assessed at the $1,025 to $1,035 per metric ton levels, a day-on-day -day fall of $5 per metric ton. On Wednesday, ethylene prices were assessed flat while propylene prices quoted mixed in Asia. On Wednesday, ethylene and propylene prices rolled over in Europe. On Wednesday, ethylene prices edged lower and propylene prices quoted steady in the United States. Back to our news. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On November 9, 2023, LLDPE prices are lower by RMB 22 per metric ton at RMB 8180 per metric ton. PP prices are down by RMB 13 per metric ton at RMB 7697 per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by RMB 15 per metric ton at RMB 6129 per metric ton. MEG prices are stable at RMB 4212 per metric ton. In plant news, Shenhua Ningxia coal industry has restarted its number 4 polypropylene unit recently. The unit was shut for maintenance on November 1, 2023. Located in Ningxia, China, the number 4 unit has a production capacity of 300,000 per metric ton year. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Jake Wong, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.